bad. Ah, oh, people are gonna be so triggered. Fuck. Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again. First video of 2017. Awesome! Woo! Yay! Boom! That's exciting, I guess. But here we're gonna be doing my. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey guys, it is Tyler here once again, back 2017, we're doing my review of the Assassin's Creed movie. It's gonna be spoiler free, as spoiler free as I can be, but, I mean a couple minor things, but nothing like major whatsoever. I'm gonna do a separate spoiler cast with James for a Kill Connor Club spoiler cast, it's own separate thing, it'll be really long and we'll talk everything in detail, yada yada. This video, I'm gonna be, uh, try to be as concise as I possibly can about my thoughts of the Assassin's Creed movie overall. And whether I want another one after, or this sort of shit that goes along with it. So, let's get right into it. First off, ah, uh, It was really bad. It was really bad. So bad. My overall thoughts of the movie really come down to this. The first 40 minutes are horrendous. Like, I was legitimately thought about walking out. I was like, this is just like... It's not like I was angry and all good. I was like, this is just so bad. Like, I'm so bored. I want to leave. Like, this is this is so shit. And then the second half of the movie, like the last hour, I mean, it was f way better than the start, but, yeah, like, it was still bad. Like, it still was just very subpar quality and was really kind of just meaningless because of the terrible opening to the movie. And I feel like with a different first 40 minutes, you could have made a better 40 minutes. It just would have made the second half better. But there was still some just cringeworthy moments and some stuff that just pissed me off overall in the movie. From a technical standpoint, I thought the movie was annoying to look at. Like, I hated looking at the screen. I'm watching it. The shots are really jarring. There's a lot of these weird eagle tracking shots, which at first were kind of cool, but they were really badly filmed, especially there's one right at the start, and it's just kind of like weird to watch. Nothing felt natural in the movie. The landscapes didn't feel, feel natural. The color correction and direction they did with the lighting and coloring of the whole movie was weird. The whole film was dusty and really just foggy, and I, I just was, I was so confused by the direction of the movie aesthetically, what it was to look at, the shot selection, bizarre, even the CGI and special effects were really poorly done, like, I thought, if the, I'm going to talk about good things in the movie, you're talking about some of the action scenes, I thought the choreography was really good, I appreciate the fact that they're trying to use practical effects and actually doing the stunts, but, like, like, there's one shot in particular, there's a carriage chase, it's in the trailer, and Aguilar has to jump from, like, a horse to a carriage, and when he does the jump, it's the fakest, most terribly done special effects. Like, it takes you out of the movie. Like, the first 40 minutes, I was typing, like, I have notes on my phone for the movie. I was in the first 40 minutes of the movie, like, literally looking up and typing shit I didn't like. And it wasn't like I was intentionally being stuff I didn't like. That's just all I had to write. There was nothing, other than the first scene, I thought it was interesting, uh, with the assassins and Aguilar and the ancestor storyline. Other than that, I was just so bored and I didn't understand they didn't set up the characters well at all. I thought the whole storyline of the start was terribly explained. The whole premise of the story, the assassins, the Templars, so good. And it wasn't just like it was badly explained. It was that it was so con um, it's things that are so established in the Assassin's Creed universe that I know already. And they explain it so poorly that I'm confused of who the assassins are and who the Templars are and who Bstogo is. I'm like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Like it felt like nothing was right. It felt like nothing that's ever happened in the Assassin's Creed games or lore, anything ever existed. This is its own thing, completely its own thing, standalone. This whole first 40 minutes was so bizarre, so weird. Now, to break down the two storylines of the Ancestor storyline, the modern day storyline, obviously, most of the movie is in the modern day. And I wasn't really sure of what was going on with these characters. I don't think there was a necessary component to tell Callum Lynch's backstory because I thought it, you really did nothing with it of use. It was really cringy and I thought it was a real just kind of throwaway storyline that made no sense 
and when the payoff was supposed to happen, I felt nothing. I kind of chuckled a bit, like, what the fuck was that? Like, there was just established lore in this modern day beginning that I was so confused by it. The importance of Absurgo, the ranking systems of the Templar, where Alan Rickon fits into that. I was, like, he's the head of the Templars. We know this. It's in the book Heresy, like, it's in so much established lore in Assassin's Creed, and they made it seem like he wasn't the head of the Assassins, like, Absurgo, uh, sorry, head of the Templars, I should say, and that the Absurgo component is just, like, a small component of the Templars, not the biggest. Like, I'd, I was so confused with the direction they were going. The Assassins were the worst part, though. Like, there was no character development whatsoever. I felt any side characters or assassins, I felt like Callum Lynch had... N I didn't really know who he was as a character. I didn't know what type of personality he had. He was just weird, crazy at some points, angry at some points, depressing at some points. Like, I didn't know who he was at all whatsoever and still didn't at the end of the movie. And the only characters that had made any sense and I liked at all were Sophia and Alan Ricken. That's right, Ricken, not fucking Riken. What? Now, the problem with the first 40 minutes and what it does to the rest of the movie, when at least it tries to kind of put together the start of the movie, it tries to, like, fix what it's already fucked up at the beginning. And I'm watching, but I'm like, it's too little too late, and because you're trying to fix it by paying off storylines, the first 40 minutes was so bad that I didn't care about the characters, therefore I didn't care about the consequences of what happened at the end. Like, I didn't care about anything that happened. I know you're going to make that a big meme in the comments. Of course you don't care. You tell her you don't care. Oh, whatever. Then when it comes to the ancestor storyline, like, I appreciated the fact and I actually kind of admired the balls it took for them to put it all in Spanish. Like, the whole ancestor storyline in Spanish. I admired their attempt to do that. Now, the reason it did not work was because by doing that, you would struggle to keep the audience's attention, and they knew they would, by really creating a strong, deep plotline and a strong, deep character development in that, where you'd have to read subtitles of it. That's hard to do, therefore they didn't do it at all. The only dialogue that really ever happened at all with Aguilar was just like, at the start of every single ancestor scene was so something in Spanish about, for the creed. That's it, and then it was just nonsense action scenes for no reason. The action looked cool, other than the jarring jumps between uh, Aguilar stabbing someone and Callum stabbing someone in the Animus, like, I get it, he's doing it in the Animus, we, I don't need to see it every time he stabs someone, me jump back, like, it was so jarring to look at. I was so disappointed, it felt like the best analogy I could use is this plotline that was going on and, like, the history of it all, I didn't really understand, and they explained it so poorly, it was like turning on the news halfway through a major story, and you're kind of trying to figure it out what's going on, but if you're with, like, a group of people, everyone would have their own idea of what was happening. None of you would kind of agree on what was going on. Like, is that... I th really? That's what was going on? I thought something else was going on. I don't even know. I don't even know. Now, then you get to the end where the whole movie tries to wrap itself up. It tries to tie up that start of the movie that I thought was just abysmal. Like, they try to be like, so this is why we had to deal with bullshit. This is why it made no sense because we're going to get to here. Like, it didn't explain for us to get to these points with all these characters. So many characters and none of them have any storyline whatsoever or moment and I thought I saw what they tried to do with the whole meaning for the end with the Aguilar and I just didn't get it I didn't feel anything for him or the characters involved in his storyline and I thought it was just a throwaway there was literally no character there at all then you get to the end of the modern day where you have so much go on, and I'm not, obviously I'm not trying to spoil anything, but there's a moment where they're all the good guys, I guess you could say. They're supposed to be good guys. Like, get together and it's like, yeah, we're gonna fuck shit up, and you have this moment, and it's like doing all the close-up shots of all the good guy characters, and I'm like... And you're supposed to feel something like, oh my god, they're all gonna get, get together and fight together, it's gonna be awesome, and I'm like... You didn't earn that. I don't know any of you at all in any way and I don't care about you. In fact, I'm not even sure if you're the good guys. Like, that was the... If there's anything that's the biggest thing in this movie, it's that I don't think there's a single good guy at all. And it's not like a good way of the lines are blurred with assassins and Templars. It was... Uh, the assassins did not have any plot build at all. They were purely looked like a weird terrorist cult that killed for the sake of killing. And then you had the Templars that just looked like crazy people that wanted to take over the world. It was bad. 
It was a bad movie, and I don't want to see a sequel. I don't want to see them do it again. Just, I... I wanted to like it. I just couldn't like it. There's, I just didn't see a... There were some redeeming qualities in there. There was, obviously, in terms of the acting, was okay. The only actors I really liked, again, was Sophia Ricken, Alan Ricken. Those two were the only shining moments when they were on screen. Even then, Sophia Ricken started off pretty shitty and got better. Alan Ricken, he had some great scenes. There were some moments where I was watching them like, okay, here we go, starting to pick up. This is a real interesting evil bad guy character. This is the head of the Psyrg and the Templars that I know that I expect him to be. This calculating, you know, he'll do whatever it takes to get what he wants, to make progress to further the Templar order. But even then, they pay all this off. It's like, uh, you have to see it to understand, but I don't recommend you see it. I think that's actually an interesting point. I, I haven't thought about this. Would I recommend you seeing it? I think it's bad, and I, I don't ever want to watch it again. Would I recommend it? I think Assassin's Creed fans have to see it so they can know what I mean, or whatever. Everyone's got their own opinions. Some people liked it, apparently. I don't see how in the world, even if you just love everything that's Assassin's Creed, I just don't see how you enjoyed anything about the first half of the movie, and when it came to the second half, why you gave a shit about any of the characters. I just don't understand how anyone could like this movie. I Like, it was bad. It was so bad. Oh. And the, the hard part was, the second half, like, I saw them trying to do stuff that was good. I saw them trying to make interesting story points. I saw them trying, like, that's just, Oh, the first half of the movie just ruined the whole rest of the movie. Like... There was a good movie in there in the second half. Like there was with the like there was a good movie there somewhere. I didn't see it on screen, but like I could tell that there was something there that could have been good, but the first half of the movie trashed everything and I just didn't understand as a person that knows Assassin's Creed, I felt like they didn't know Assassin's Creed and they're just making it all up. I I don't even know. I don't even know. Lots of you are probably super triggered by this and are like, Tyler was so good. Some of you are like, yeah, you're right, Tyler's shit, or I don't think it was that, but I don't fucking know. And quite frankly, I don't care. It was bad. It was oh so bad. And I will talk about it in more detail in probably an hour-long spoiler cast with James, and we can talk about every bit of spoilers, every point, and I can really talk about the specific plot points that I hated and that made me angry or I was just lost by in that spoiler cast. So, anyway, guys, I wish I liked it. I'm upset that this is the first video of the year that I have to talk shit about Assassin's Creed like this because it was just bad. It was bad. And I got nothing nice to say about it other than a couple of good scenes in there with some good actors in Jeremy Irons uh, playing Alan Rickon and the action looked kind of cool and I don't even know. Callum Lynch said in the movie, he said a line, he said, what the fuck is going on? He said about, pretty much about the 40 minute mark where I just dealt with the first 40 minutes of bullshit. And I literally said to myself, I looked at the person next to me, I go, what the fuck is going on?